this is a meal that I had every day during recovery, pretty much, with some substitutes. So, here we have some gluten-free oats, which we'll start with. Now, I just want to say that my portion sizes are going to be a lot bigger than the majority of people. I prefer to have my meals in bigger, bigger portions and less of them. Uh, during recovery, I actually, I actually used this, which is a oat, like it uses rice, millet, and buckwheat flakes instead of oats because I was sensitive to oats during recovery. Um, so it, it's obviously not as it was not as nice as porridge oats, but I, that's something I just had to deal with. So I'm gonna put my oats in here. Again, I use much bigger portion sizes than the average person. So, got my oats. Gonna leave that there for a minute. Take this over here. Let me get my uh, chopping board. And now, I'm gonna put some things in the oats to cook with it. So, here we have some, gonna put some figs in there, some organic figs, and some organic dates, and some hemp, hemp milk. Now hemp milk is the healthiest milk that you can use, for sure. You know, I used to use mixes of rice, almond, uh, sometimes soy, you know, and hemp is much better. I mean, if you can see that, you get 50% of your daily omega 3s per glass and that's something that I had to make sure that I was getting enough omega 3s because I had a history of just bombarding my body with omega 6s and that's something you really need to look out for is making sure most of your fats you're getting are more on the omega 3 side just because most of us come from past of using too much oils and stuff which you need to avoid during recovery 100% uh, that's something I didn't touch at all uh, the only time I did touch it was in some pre-made products like uh, these vegan pies that I'm, I rarely consume now due to the oil content um, so just going to cut these figs up I love warm gooey figs and dates in porridge oats is so nice. And the other thing is that hemp milk is the nicest milk taste wise as well. So it's the healthiest and the tastiest. Especially when when you mix it with oats and stuff. So I uh, I was planning to do 100k today. I got to town about three or four minutes too late and the cycling group had already left so I had to go and do my own bike ride which was about 40 kilometers you can check all my rides actually I've uploaded all of them to Strava so if that's something you're interested in you can have a look at my training see what I'm doing and some people are interested so I'm just gonna put lots of figs in there dates love dates So when it comes to recovery and diet, it's very simple. It, it really just evolves around making sure you're getting whole foods and avoiding processed junk, really. Processed in any form, you know, even cereals, you know. I used to have cornflakes now and again, if, as long as they weren't GMO and organic and stuff. But honestly, it's, it's, there's no nutrition there. There's no health benefits there, you know. So I avoid cereals now, and now and again I'll have these organic rice puffs with cacao in, and they are nice, but of course it's, it's just, it's not, it's not really fueling my body like this will be. This is the meal that I just use every day to fuel myself, and I've never felt better. You know, I know what works now, after so much experimenting, you know. And the thing is, is this meal tastes like a dessert, like it shouldn't be healthy. 
I don't know whether that's because I'm so used to just uh, healthy food now, but I love this meal. To me, it does. I don't. I don't. I could live off this meal. So we'll put a few more in there. Also, I'm, e I'm eating really calorie. Uh, it's going to be quite a, a lot of calories in this meal, and that's something I advocate as well because, you know, there are a lot of people that do say that adrenal fatigue comes from a history of not eating enough for your body. You know, because I think I think a lot of people were. Uh, grow up like I did and I'd do insane amounts of biking when I was a kid and I'd come back and have the same meal I had as when I was sitting on my ass. so I'm just going to have lots of hemp milk see so I'm getting all my omega 3's here and I'm going to be adding flax, flax to this as well so I'm pretty much getting my whole day's worth of omega 3's in this meal so I'm going to put this on to boil so for a while. I like it really uh, creamy. Uh, one more, one more dig in there. So, what else am I going to be putting in there? What I do is I buy bulk linseeds and het flax seeds, sunflower seeds, and I grind them up. So, for example, one kilogram of organic uh, linseeds golden linseeds is like less than five quid which lasts you forever see I have I have my sunflower seeds in there so I say I, I've said this in a video before but this is something I use every day and it's just see this this is just a mixture of all different nuts and seeds that I ground up myself and that's just four of just um, omega threes protein, zinc, iron, all, all, all sorts of stuff. We've got pumpkin seeds in there, macadamia nuts, sunflower seeds, linseeds, flax seeds, and I'll put that in towards the end. Uh, every single day I have lots of berries as well. So here we have um, blueberries. I'll be putting blueberries towards the end in, lots of blueberries, lots of antioxidants, lots of vitamin C and everything. And I'll be putting some I might put a bit on that, a bit of that in for flavour. This is something I use all the time. Blackstrap molasses organic. And basically it's the good stuff that they burn off the sugar uh, and are left with the white like the white refined rice uh, <laughs> sugar sorry and this has tons of calcium, tons of iron, tons of chromium and this is what you want if you're looking for something it's not sweet like white sugar it's more like a licorice smell but it still has that sweetness if that's something you're looking for and that's a, a healthy thing to have um, we'll have some chia seeds as well. Basically, this meal is a concoction of everything you need in one meal. It's just everything that I need to get me through a day. Um, it's got all my carbs, it's got my proteins, it's got my fats. It's just got everything in there. But yeah, I, d I definitely recommend getting help milk if you can get that. I, I believe it is the healthiest milk you can have. And the good thing is, is that they don't have to use preservatives to grow it. So you're not getting any of that junk in your body as well. Just so many benefits. So let this cook up. And what I do usually is when I'm like lifting weights, which I've not been able to do for a month after my bike crash, is I'll mix um, some pea protein in there and some a mix uh, just a mix a uh, one to one ratio of rice and rice and pea protein. I might put a bit in actually. So just just to up the protein of the meal. Um, it just, I just make it so that it's everything my body could possibly need in a day. Like you can't, 
can't even taste that rice protein when it's in this. Um, so here, so that's almost done. You know, this meal, after this meal's done, it's going to be about 2,000 calories. So it's really not hard to get your food in. Maybe I'm saying that just because I'm a pig. Like, maybe you can't demolish food like I can, but this is what I have every day. Lots of blue, black, blueberries. There. So let those, let those berries melt in there. Turn it down to the heat. You have no idea how good this tastes. Like, there's a reason why this has been my meal for nearly a year, every day. Every day, without fail. So now gonna put my mixture of flax seeds in there all my nuts and seeds in there and you know if you're struggling to get calories in nuts and seeds are like the perfect way to get calories in they're so calorie dense and you can't you're not really it's not really um, filling you up too much oh yeah and there's some goji berries in there as well so here we go I can turn that off now. So we'll put a bit of cheer in there. I love the crunch of the chia seeds in there. So now, now, what I love to have on top of here is coconut milk, uh, coconut yogurt. Now, this this is why. I have this meal every day. You probably, because mo most yogurts, yeah, have so much junk in them. I used to be a really big fan of like Greek yogurts and the really sour yogurts where it was just one ingredient, but obviously cow's milk is not very good for you. Um, it's only meant for a baby cow. Anyway, this is the yogurts that I have. And the ingredients on these yogurts, this one for example, coconut milk, morella cherry, cherries with natural fruit extracts from apple, grape and carob, tapioca starch and cultures. That's it. It's like two ingredients. And they taste so good. And you, you know, if you come in from a diet which is very refined, it's not going to taste the best straight away because it's not got all the like added sugar and all the added junk in there but once you get like onto this kind of way of eating it tastes amazing you can tell it's doing your body good and I like to just add like random little things in here like so this is coconut jam I'll just add in a little bit here and there just for different tastes um, here I'm going to put some black molasses in I'll just put it in the corner there just I love having lots of different tastes in one meal and what else do I want in here oh yeah this is just made from uh, blackberry juice sugar and pectin so I just have a little bit of that just for the flavor yeah there's not much left in there anyway I just like I just love it being just a concoction of all different tastes and it tastes so good so we've got the jam in there the black molasses and I think we're done I think this is it so I put my molasses in there like I'm getting everything I need in this meal it has everything the only thing I'm not getting is B12 probably and even then I just, I just uh, have a supplement for that but yeah I think we are done so let's see if we can turn the light on this is the finished product and it's just a gooey yummy nutty porridge with really cold 
coconut creamy yogurt and that will fill me up for six to eight hours love it so this is just it's just coconut milk and cherries no junk you know and I'll just pop that in the middle hopefully you hopefully you can see this I'd hate to have blocked it out that would be really annoying so mmm so good love it love it love it See, I see people when they first like changing their diet and stuff radically, they just can't imagine themselves giving up things that they used to like. I do not miss animal products. I do not miss anything from an animal. I do not miss any junk food. I hate refined things. I hate refined cakes. All of it just tastes god awful to me now. This tastes better and it's everything my body needs. Right then. I'm going to tuck into this, this is about uh, 1500 calories, maybe a bit more, I'll probably have a bit more coconut um, yoghurt, I might snack on some dates, but yeah, hope you found this somewhat interesting, <laughs> alright, see ya.